Hey, Liliana, can we talk for a minute? Are you doing all right? Yes. I just wanted to say hi. Well, here I am. And here I am. Can, uh, can I ask you what it was like in the, in the cloister? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. Oh? That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. I guess I could see that, but how were they being condescending? When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. You know, Liliana, I'm not one for the Chantry at all, but... The more and more we talk, the more and more I definitely prefer your ideas behind the Chantry as opposed to what the Chantry actually says. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. Alright, I'll talk to you soon. Alright, I'm going to bed. Does anybody need anything? Wait, Watson, are you okay? I didn't check in with you. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Alistair! What are you telling my dog? Watson, don't listen to him. It... I would never. I would never, ever, ever feed you another human being. Don't worry. It's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know. Still! Yeah, listen to Watson, Alistair. One day the two of you are gonna actually get along. One day. Alright, I'm going to bed. And then tomorrow we'll see, well, what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, look at that. Another nice morning. It actually, the weather is really nice. Shall we get going? I've got plans, I think, but, you know, we'll just kind of first see where the road takes us because that just seems like the safest thing to do. Will you stop eating? Oh, I'm hungry. Stuff your face at camp. For now, watch the bloody road. But we've been looking at the road for hours. No travelers all day. Will one of you pay attention? Oi, who's that? You must not exhaust Nobody. Oh, okay. Nobody's gonna believe me, huh? You cannot win. Okay. Well, that was fun, I guess. How did we stumble onto this camp? It doesn't really make any sense. Is there anybody left? I definitely want to go through all their stuff, though. But I have a feeling we didn't find everybody. Oh no. Is that. Oh, he's up top. You found him? Oh. Hold on. I'm coming for you guys. Yeah, I got you. Ah. Alistair, you got that one up top? Because ah. I'll, I'll handle this if you handle it. Ah. Oh. 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 All right. Right? Maybe. Is there any bandits left over here? How large was this bandit camp? Why was this. Oh. Two sentry guards. All right, we'll handle them. You got him. I'll, I'll, I'll handle him. Look at this teamwork. You should run you can. Yeah, they're not gonna make it. He was bleeding out too badly, anyways. Okay. Trap right ahead. Okay. Well, you can disarm that while I go find Watson. Work well together. All right, well, there was that one hidden bandit off to the side. That's fine. Shall we take them for everything that they could possibly have? Let's see. Uh, boots. We'll take those. They clearly don't need them anymore. What is up with bandits just attacking random people like that? We weren't doing anything. We were just walking by. Sure, I listened in on their conversation, and that's probably super rude of me, but you know what? That's fine, all right? I'm allowed to. Because, you know... I don't know. I'm a Grey Warden? No, that really doesn't I need to find a reason now for that. Wait, did I not? It shall be done. 
Ice arrows. Oh, Liliana. You want some ice arrows? I found some. It's a trap. Okay. There's a trap there. I'm going to go around. I'm just not even going to bother trying to disarm it. I think I saw a way out and back on the road this way. Um, did we just stumble on a merchant while we were out and about? Oh, what is this? Is that death root? I'll take some of that. Never know when I'm going to need it. Um, are you all right or? Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Go find it? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Are you asking me to find your mule for you? Oh, no, no, no. I sent my elf to do that. Your what? I mean, I sent my helper, Taran. Uh -huh. Nice fellow, that, Taran. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois. Merchant and entrepreneur at your service. Okay, uh, I'm Emery. It's nice to meet you. What is a merchant doing all the way out here? I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? Uh, how? Would you like me to help you out? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? Uh, it's a... control... Wait, what does it do? You said a control rod for a golem? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand. The golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one, yes? I mean, I, uh, I suppose I could. I take any help I can get it at this point. How much, though, do you want for it? Nothing. Wait, what? I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. All right, is there a catch behind this or anything? Like, are you going to come hunt me down six months from now and demand payment, or what? The catch? Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. Ah. It's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely. Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Sure. I'm gonna take this control rod off your hands. That's totally fine. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Appreciate Just it. Just hold up the rod and say Dulaf Gar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. I hope it works, too. This is, uh, yeah, wait, what happens if it doesn't work? Is there some kind of I can find you and hand it back guarantee, or? Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. Okay, no. Best of luck to you, then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. So, who wants to go to a place called Honleith? Because we apparently now have access to a golem? I guess. Great. Let's uh let's go find ourselves a golem. What what is this? What did we just stumble into? Oh no. What is it? This is not good. You guys got that? Okay, this is bad. Hi. Okay. Well that was something crazy wild animals things was that just natural or dark spawn because it uh death root i'll take more of that because that definitely didn't look normal unless i've just been living in an alien age for too long and haven't seen the great outdoors enough which is also entirely possible oh um are you guys oh, running from dark spawn okay good cool i think uh i think we got the right place 
So, let's kill these guys. They always sound so gross when they die. Okay. This has to be Honleith, right? Considering we just killed Darkspawn. I mean, the main reason I took the control rod was because he said the whole town was overrun by Darkspawn. And, I mean, I don't know about you, but as a Grey Warden, I kind of feel like we should go clear out the Darkspawn. Wow, they weren't lying, huh? Lots and lots. I'm going to get the archers. Okay. Um. Cool. That was fun. Lots of dark spawn in one tiny, tiny area. What's in here? Oh, I need to find the key. Did I really just go to open up some poor person's chest outside their house? Yes. Is that wrong? Probably. Do I have regrets? Well, considering I couldn't take anything. No, not really. It All is right. begun. Darkspawn have interesting things in their pockets. Oh, more death root. I don't know why I'm collecting so much death root right now, but listen, when I find it, I just take it. Don't ask me why. Is that a golem in the middle of the town and a whole bunch of dark spawn? Okay, let's kill the dark spawn. Oh, oh no, you, you big boy. Hold on, let me murder you. No, okay, if you could just not murder me, that would be great. I'm the one that does the murdering, not you. Here, you too. No, 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 you, you got, you gotta get your turn. No, stop it. Okay. Uh, two archers, and then you got those Watson. Watson is so fierce. It is begun. It's insane how fierce Watson really is. Stop running! It shall be done. Let me just murder you. Okay, he's dead too. Look at little Arthur. Look at how cute he is. Hi, Arthur. Okay, listen. Arthur provides incredible morale while we're on the battlefield. Have you noticed that? I feel like everybody just fights so much better. Okay, but... Oh, no. Dead villager? I shall do it. Uh, they had a key on them. Just take that in case we find somebody alive that I can pass it on to. Uh, oh, wow. We really did take out a whole plethora of darkspawn, huh? Shall we see if we can use this uh, control rod to activate the golem to see if it can then help us smush whatever darkspawn might be left? It's a large golem though, huh? It looks like... like a golem, doesn't it? It does! An actual golem, and not a statue at all. Right? I wonder how it ended up here of all places. Alright, so it looks like it's got numerous crystals embedded on it, and some are cracked. Huh. Alright, let me try activating it. And nothing happened. Okay. How did I get the words wrong? They were very simple words. Is my dwarven that bad? No. I mean, possibly, but no. Uh, oh, what is this? It looks like another one of those crystals that was in the golem. So that's good to know because maybe we can use it to repair the golem later. This is one of the only doors that looks like it's actually fully functioning, so... Should we go in? Do we think we'll find any survivors down here? I mean, I'm hopeful. Okay, well, there are dark spawn here if that says anything to start this off, but I am hopeful we find somebody. I mean, during a dark spawn attack, it would make sense that they flee somewhere that they could lock themselves in, right? Alistair, careful! Don't get my dog killed! That's an order. Oh no, don't touch, don't touch, don't, no touchies. Thank you. Oh, they still make terrible noises. Terrible, terrible noises. All right, good. There's all kinds of stuff. So it looks like, is that a dark spawn? So it looks like they tried to use the books to block them or was it the dark spawn going through something? Why did the dark spawn choose this town of all places to invade and stay? Almost like they're looking for something, but they can't be right. Darkspawn don't look for things. All right, down here. Oh, bad way to go. Oh, that's awful. What is this? It looks like it's a special beverage. Okay, well, listen, you know what? I don't know if there are any survivors, so we should hold on to this and make sure that their legacy is remembered through the beverage. 
that's what we're gonna go with. More pepper. Okay. Oh, that's another bad way to go. Is there more dark spawn? Of course. Wait. Hey, there are people behind that barrier. Do you guys see that? There's a barrier up there. All right, kill everybody, and then maybe we can help them with the barrier. Hey, is everybody all right? I By the it. maker, we're saved. You weren't sent by the ban, were you? No. To save us. I'm sorry, no. Uh, I don't know if anybody thought that you were alive. <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all, then. Thank you. You're welcome. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, well, this is kind of, um, awkward, but I, I got a control rod from a merchant who had lost his mule, oddly enough, and... He didn't want to keep the control rod, but he sent me here to try to use it. A control rod? Do you mean the one for Shale? Shale? Who's Shale? That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! I... Uh, it killed your father? Wait, what, really? My father's name was Wilhelm. Mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlais. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower. With so many broken bones, she could barely recognize him. And Shale standing over him, just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Okay, except though that the rod doesn't work. Um, that's awful though. I am very sorry to hear about your father. That's uh that's a way to go, huh? I um but yeah, the the rod doesn't work. My mother might have passed along the wrong command phrase when she sold the rod. She said she never wanted to see Shale active again. Look, I'll tell you the command phrase, but I'll need your help first. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? Yeah, of, of course. I'll do everything I can to find her. I'm sorry that she ran away like that, but yeah, we'll, we'll take care of that. You will? Of course. Find the maker. My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. Is this who chased the little girl down into this area? Because if so, they didn't make it. So there's potentially a small child running around without adult supervision. And there are dark spawn. So this should be fun. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, Demons instead of dark spawn. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, let's kill them and then find the child, huh? Well, that was fun. All right. I think that might be the only way that we can go, but first, is there... What is this? Looks like a journal or... Wilhelm, the enchanter, right? Who had the golem? The interrogation of the demon is going well and is rather fascinating. Provided that what it says is true, I have sent all my research so far to First Enchanter Arden. And while he is concerned about my safety, he does not think there's a reason to stop just yet. All I hope is that the Templars do not discover what I am doing. How will we ever find a way to deal with demonic possession if the Chantry does not let us research it? Young Matthias nearly wandered down here again today, and this time I forgot to leave the barrier up. I believe I will key the defenses to ignore anyone of my blood. I would rather have the boy stumble into the laboratory than have him killed by my forgetfulness. Poor lad, all he wants is to know why his father spends so much time beneath the tower. I will spend more time with him soon, I swear. Shale is acting strangely. Shale's the, the golem. Okay, I wonder if I should discontinue my experiments upon it. Oh, no. I am so near a breakthrough, I am certain. Ah, perhaps it is best if I focus on the demon. 
The demon almost managed to get away again. Tricky. I shall have to be more careful. Young Eamon sent a letter asking me to return to Redcliffe. I shall have to consider it soon. As in, young Eamon is an Arl Eamon? Could it be? What an intriguing discovery, especially considering that the demon was attempting to keep me from it at all costs. Or did it lead me to that information by seemingly by seeming to deny it from me? I must discover the truth. I think it is time to dismiss this demon. It is too dangerous for me to continue holding it. And I cannot discount the possibility that it is having some influences over the golem. Or is it my experiments? I will try to deactivate Shale for the time being and then deal with the demon once and for all. Let it end here. And that's it. There are no more entries. So you're telling me that this guy was experimenting with demons and then demons on a golem? And his son is the guy upstairs who's daughter we're trying to rescue none of that seems normal this family is very strange then again who am i to talk about strange families but still um i'm gonna kind of take these crystals with me along the way because she'll that's it right she'll seem to have them so i don't know if we ever get she'll fixed up and she'll is in fact not possessed by demons then maybe these will you know help she'll okay there's a barrier this isn't Good. Are we sure that that demon is gone that, that that dude summoned? What do you mean you've never climbed a tree? Don't cats like to be in trees? Oh boy. Is she talking to the cat? 